Hey everybody, Luis Figueroa here with Ed Ainbinder, Senior National Vice President. Uh, Executive VP. Executive VP of Fancy Ain title. Ed Angel Oak. Um, we're going over like mortgage war stories. Um, we've closed a couple million dollars together and this year hopefully I will close at least a hundred million dollars with him. Um, I want to go over some things that we're, we're talking about that he's doing that I will be able to provide to my clients. One of the things that they're doing that mostly almost no one else is doing is vacant one to four family properties. So I just have them here on video to confirm that I'm not lying, um, that if we're buying a property with, let's say a million dollar property, we're putting down minimum 20% if it rent rolls, correct? Correct. Correct. Um, this is off projected rent rolls, um, the property being totally empty, do we need reserves? Uh, the, yeah, on a purchase, yes. On a purchase, how many months reserves do we need? Uh, look for six months reserves. Six months purchase. reserves. So on a million dollars, let's say the payment's about four thousand, five thousand dollars with with everything included. Five times six is thirty. You have the down payment. You have thirty thousand dollars. You have a house. One bank statement one will, bank su statement. will suffice so for 12, closing. So one month. Yep, will suffice. Okay. All for right. closing funds. All right. Tell me about light industrial, no environmental. So. Obviously, um, a big concern for people with warehouse, light industrial, light manufacturing type properties are environmentals. Um, and it's a huge expense normally for the borrower. We eliminate that issue. Right. So unless there was some pre-existing uh, issue with the property. Some documented pre-existing, yeah. right? Okay. So with us at Cherrywood, which is a subsidiary of Angel Oak, okay, um, that's, a, that's a huge niche because when you go to your traditional bank, okay, without a doubt, you're gonna be hit with that. You'll even get hit with that on mixed use properties. Right. So, um, and I've even seen it come up on a multifamily, believe it or not. Um, and it's a huge expense. And if they, uh, you, you can plan on usually anywhere from four to six, 7,000 for a phase one. Um, and in excess of 30, 25 and, and higher for if phase twos with soil samples and 30,000 for a phase two to yeah. see if you want to buy a property that may not qualify. Right. You heard that. Okay. What about, I'm going to talk about a couple of deals that we have closed. All right. So we had one deal in particular. I remember in the Bronx, we were refinancing a property. It was a multifamily. Um, during, during the transaction, almost to closing, my client received information or rather instructions from his attorney. They were, this is, this is, I don't know, this is a while ago, about 10 years ago. My client received instructions from his attorney to modify their primary residence. What that means is be late on your mortgage payments. So during the refinancing trans transaction on this investment property, he was late, his FICO dropped. It was somewhere in the fives. To get this deal done, the client had plenty of liquid money and he was able to prove that he had the money to make payments and he had a letter from his attorney stating, hey, I instructed my client to do this. All I had to provide our investor was a letter of explanation explaining that and we still closed the deal. Right. That, that That's like a kiss of death at any other bank, any other investor, um, the, the, we were still able to yeah, close the, it. The bottom line is, you know, our primary concern is with the subject property. Right. And as long as an individual has a make sense explanation for whatever his or her issues may be with uh, another area of their life financially or the primary residence, um, and it makes sense, as I tell people, um, not the dog ate my homework excuse for whatever your woes were, whether they're credit related, income related, occurrence in their life that caused this. For example, that was a modification of their primary. Right. And it made sense, the explanation, but they were always perfect on the investment property, on the, yes, on the commercial piece. On so we were fine with that. Right. So it, it's really common sense lending. That's what it is in general. Storytell, story, story. Tell us the story. story. Tell us the story, make, you know, it makes sense, I, we'll do it. Right, I like to tell people, don't submit a loan to us. Uh, like you're playing poker or eating lunch in prison with your arm wrapped around it. Right, right, right. No prison lunch here. <laughs> yeah. Um, have a deal where we're going to close probably in two weeks. Um, conversion from a three to a four family. Client has, you know, plenty of equity, $4 million transaction loan, about, about two, it's going to be about 2.7. Um, we don't have the final CEO yet. Um, after having a conversation with Ed, there will be some money held back in escrow. Um, 
but we'll be able to fund the loan for the client and give him liquidity to keep on going to his next project. Right. Three other banks said no to that. Three other banks said, no, we have to wait. No, we have to wait. Meanwhile, it's it's draining the client's financial resources to carry that that um, that property needs liquidity. Um, and that's where it comes. The real, So basically the gist of this interview is basically to show um, that the relationships with your investors really matters. Um, it's not just numbers. If there's a true story behind a file, we'll make it Tell work. Us. We'll close it. Yeah. Extra kitchens, extra units. We're not going to force someone to rip those out. Right. We we're not going to give you credit for them if they're not recognized. But we're not going to ask you. To but we're not going to tell you how many times have you got the person buying the house, rip the kitchen out, rip the kitchen out, disconnect all these utilities. Yeah. No, we're not going to give you credit for that unit, but we're still going to do the loan. Yeah. Based off of the DSCR of the other units. Right. Any other questions? Please hit us below. Ask Louis Omar at hrnco.com. And see you next time.